Hey wonderful people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. This is Joy here with you. I'll be doing a fragrance review, but it's gonna be a fun one. Uh, the fragrance we're gonna be doing today is from House of X, and this is going to really not be a very, um, how to say, fun review for many people, but it's gonna be fun for some people, because uh, this, is, this has been part of their lives throughout their journey, you know, since they were in school and stuff like that. So you're gonna be looking at X, and you're gonna be looking at a body spray deodorant sort of a thing. And I'll let you know uh, what my thoughts on this one. This is called Apollo. Apollo, Apollo, Apollo. <laughs> uh, I just recently got it and it just immediately, you know, it reminded me of something and I'll discuss it. I'll tell you about the price, longevity and stuff like that because these are all by, you know, like these are means of, you know, people smelling good, you know, and it's a, these are like uh, most budget version of uh, perfume. So I actually have been using, uh, not really in recent times, I used... Uh, in my school days X a lot so I did review one of them one of my favorite ones uh, in recent times that is Dark Temptation and I have the old style bottle if you go and see my review I have about 11,000 views on that and I just uh, did it for fun and this fragrance really served a lot of people uh, during the school days it has good memories and now I have one more left uh, in my collection that I used to use a lot of X fragrances uh, another one I really loved was Anti Hangover and these are the kind of uh, newer bottles now. You just twist them and then they reveal the sprayer. And you like, you know, spray them. It's pretty cool. I'll show you today the Apollo. Um, just remember one thing, you know, sometimes people think like it's spending a lot of money is the only way to enjoy life. Not really, you know, like I do not like this concept that people constantly say, you know, I see some people, they told me, uh, you shouldn't do fog fragrance. You shouldn't do cheap fragrances, body sprays and stuff it's just gonna lo lower your you know view viewership or uh, let's say uh, people who look down upon you i don't believe in that people who do that they don't really enjoy things they have very limited <laughs> like amount of ideas you know in their head so for me i would like to suggest this i'm doing these videos for memory's sake and i'm suggesting them for students because i just uh, see them available in bangladesh now so these ones the uh, x in usa they cost about ten dollars Okay, this 150 ml durian body spray, but here it's pretty much like three dollars. Maximum it can get in uh, supermarkets five dollars, but it's not going to be more than that. So it's pretty affordable. Uh, if you can spend about uh, three dollars in Bangladesh, it's price-wise is 225 taka. You can find these in uh, shopping marts in Mina Bazaar, Agora. You know, if you just look for it, you can find them. So pretty cool uh, coloring. First of all, I like this blue Apollo and this. Yeah, this color is pretty much awesome you know I like these and uh, it says uh, body spray and this 150 ml and then they have this new style of spray it's pretty cool you cannot spray this this is a locked um, state of the fragrance and when you twist it then it, it comes to life and when you spray here it does a uh, spray a lot so the fragrance let me show you the spray you can just hold it it will just continue to spray so this perfume uh, body sprays they have very uh, little uh, kind of uh, what do you call fragrance oil in them it's very minute but it's just surprising how long they last you know these fragrances sometimes they last like on the shirt easily three to four hours which is surprising because edts did not give you that kind of performance but on many people these fragrances last literally like half an hour so it depends on skin chemistry i guess but for this uh, 225 taka what you're gonna get you're gonna get this 150 ml body spray you're gonna get this is made in I think South Africa South African product and then they have a lot of uh, like product line on these they have body shower I mean shower gel they have a uh, shampoo they have deodorant they have uh, I guess tons of products I don't know but this one the body spray I think they also have uh, what you call aftershave as well so this this what you're gonna get from this when I sprayed first time I really was hit with a lot of musk I went to the shop they didn't let me spray it I just bought it I'm like yeah it's, it's cheap but I like the bottle and it reminded me suddenly I'm like something musky mm, something musky and fruity what does it remind me of then I'm like ooh it's reminding me of something like Fierce by Abercrombie and Fitch and then more like Mont Blanc Legend I'm like okay I'm gonna review this I'm gonna tell people this smells like Legend and it does it does smell like Legend a lot it has a dosage, dosage of lavender at the same time some fruity notes some fresh um fresh like you know it's it's kind of like a fresh uh out of the shower very very known smell 
um, you can you can easily wear this after shower it will just enhance the freshness and does I'll show you I have another fragrance that is also similar to this and I saw it in Fragrantica they are comparing this that is a Playboy New York you guys know my love for this this is one of my most favorite cheapy so this fragrance will last on you uh, three four hours solid I mean I get good performance at least three and a half hours of longevity so that this will last a little bit more than that I get about one hour to two hours longevity and uh, on the shirt they last long time but uh, since the high amount of alcohol this is not gonna last really a long time this is kind of like an upgrade you can get this for about I think seven dollars or so this is EDD concentration playboy and I don't know if it's still in the market but it's pretty cool and this is kind of really different if you compare these two in terms of it got some little bit uniqueness but then the ultimate thing is Mont Blanc legend if you want to get a affordable budget budget version of this one you can get Apollo okay very very cool concept I just reminded of uh, Tom Hanks the movie I think Apollo 13 or what was the movie called I, I forgot I watched it a long time ago on TV one of uh, Tom Hanks uh, first big movies all right uh, not first but one of his big films so I am suggesting this for people like who are going to school university and you don't have so much uh, money to spare for a EDT even let's say you don't have ten dollars you can opt for this you know it's not a bad deodorant at all it doesn't have a alcoholic smell it smells really nice fresh musky daily uh, highly active people who are riding bikes you know ride sharing buses this is gonna smell pretty darn good back in the time this is what school kids used to use I think this was released in 2003 so I was uh, not really uh, here so I don't know what kind of uh, public uh, re reaction this one got but in general X fragrances used to get like a lot of compliments in school you'd be the man if you're wearing X you know if you see that commercial of these things these fragrances they show you like tons of girls like especially the dark temptation the island this guy is being chased by so many girls after he's applied it on him which is not quite the case but it was ridiculous how they showed that those uh, commercials I just want to tell you like sometimes I just miss good old days of my uh, school sometimes the days I could just get one perfume as a gift once a year like uh, let's say birthday or Eid or someone gifted me when they just visit from overseas or sometimes they gift me a six pack of X fragrances my dad would bring when he used to go to Thailand or somewhere so these were the good times so those are the things that have memories with us that we started a game with body sprays nowadays kids are very very fortunate they have EDTs they have like all these reviews available and they can just get them like their parents are really kind to them then they can get anything easily and they can get a top-notch like the latest mobile phones too much technology but I think uh, I would exchange those technology if I was born in this era I would exchange with this technology with our uh, lifestyle how we don't have any phones we didn't have anything we just had outdoor sports friends we had real friends um, we could appreciate little things a lot we would just save wouldn't let anybody spray our friends a whole friends would come and spray this like on them like hey why are you stealing my sprays would fight over like a bottle of coke life was really really nice and one other thing I'll tell you I missed that when I started my fragrance journey like properly watching reviews there was era that designer fragrance would be discussed a lot they would releasing a lot of interesting perfumes and reviewers were re reviewing some designer fragrances nowadays it's like seems like it's just endless you know I started this culture of uh, one review per day uh, now everybody is doing almost like they're doing daily uploads I like that I love that but I see a lot of fragrances just getting lost in time and then just people receiving free products a lot of houses I do not know the thing is the interest kind of it just gone sometimes I don't see in the market what I want to buy I don't see anything that I can buy in a market something that is kind of sad I miss those early days of excitement if you know what I mean but I just realized one thing you know uh, whatever you feel at any part of your journey you have to play it honest you have to play it with sincere love so whatever memories you uh, gather you could actually enjoy them later and you're gonna be really looking back in the albums pictures what you collected back then you really have fun but if you did something just to show others that I can get also just collecting for sake of collecting not using you're not gonna create any memories so yeah like 
X, definitely part of my life and journey. I am grateful to them uh, for uh, providing a lot of memories. Definitely try them out, but if you actually have kind of cash, maybe upgrade to something EDT, more of stronger nature, okay? Um, the body sprays actually, these are a suggestion for people, for students, youngsters, who have little amount of money, but you want to smell good every day. Um, for a very, very nominal price range, and you can keep this in a bag, uh, spray them like liberally, even this dark temptation is very sexy, okay? So check them out, uh, go to the mall if they let you spray, and if you like them, pick them up. They're very, very inexpensive. So uh, I'm just happy that I wanted to review this. Um, it, it, I hope it will help one or two people out there. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon, and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.